sinasampahan niya kasi. Ayan, no? Nagkukulita na naman. Can I show you? <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That is really bad. So, can, you, can you just hold Nelly muna? That's really bad. Mm. That, the, the bad thing about that is not, the dog is not inviting to play. The dog is trying to release yung stress. Yung puppy is trying to release yung stress niya. Okay. Basha. Mm. But we may ibig sabihin ng humping. Okay? Ah. Yung nakauna dyan, kung halimbawa, and definitely not for, for Ellie muna, it's because hindi pa siya physically mature. Okay? Mm. Meaning to say, kay Ellie, ang tingin niya ngayon doon, so, kung physically mature na siya, tapos in heat si Basha, possible mating. Okay? Mm -hmm. Basha is female male. Female. female po. Female. Male si Ellie. Male. Okay, so wag nung isipin na mating niya, kasi kalokohan na magmate yan ng ganyan. Alright, so hindi yon. Ngayon, another two, two is invitation to play. Alright, if nakita mo mas open yung mouth niya and then naghap siya, that's more of invitation to play. Pero kapag mas intense siya na serado yung bibig niya and talagang pinipilit niya abutin yung ibabaw. That is basically releasing the stress. Don't say that. So, or asking the other dog to go down because I need you to relax too. Okay. So both ways it can happen depending on the body language. So why do I don't want the humping? I don't want to. I ako no humping. Don't say the two. The mating agad na inisip and then don't say release the stress. Gusto ko ang humping for invitation to play. Okay. So, so yun lang yung pwede. But when you see Masa. yung invitation to play, dapat meron munang play bow. If walang play bow, hindi ibig sabihin yung nag-invite to play. That's one of the things that you'll need to see. Kapag pinaba ni Ellie yung dibdib na muna sa sahig, after that, a couple of seconds, or right after, nag siya, then allow. Because that's just invitation to play. The dog, your Ellie would know how to invite to play, and hayaan nyo si Basha to control. Okay? But not to the point na i-co-control niya na i-pin down niya. Okay? Kasi kapag pin-in down niya na ng pin-in down, umaabot na tayo sa dominant. And we don't want that. Okay? So, tandaan natin feeding ritual kay Basha, same thing with Ellie, but kay Ellie may 3 seconds wait sa eye contact. Okay. Meaning to say, nakatingin talaga siya ng ganyan ng 3 seconds before you release. Okay? Ngayon, first step pa lang yan. Akala nyo madali? Hindi madali. First step, kay Ellie, kailangan umabot ka na yung bowl niya ng pagkain nasa sahig na at hindi pa rin niya kinukuha. Wow. Iba na ang tawag dito. Impulse control na ang tawag dito. You are controlling the urges of the dog. If you can control the urge of the dog to just go after a food, then eventually you will be able to control the urge to go after another dog or to go after a cat or to go after humans. So, simulan muna natin dun sa pinaka-basic na urge niya to eat. So, and I don't know if you've seen my YouTube channel, but... Ah, hindi. Hindi pa pala nare-release. Hindi ko pa pala na-approve. Ire-release din yung step-by-step -step process kung paano nangyayari, kung paano nagagawa ng mga aso ko. Na nasa sahig lahat ng pagkain oh. and they're wow. waiting. Right? Wow. So, so, so you would see that. Oh. Ngayon, uh, nag-iiwan ba ng toy kay Ellie? Marami pong toy. Dami. <laughs> Sobrang spoiled. Why? I think we just got used to it with Basha na in mm. toys, I'll show you po. Like, okay. lahat lang nasa yeah. floor. <laughs> All of this. And this one, the box. Okay. So, anong uh, ginagawa ni Basha dun sa toys niya? Hindi na niya pinapansin. Actually, ano, ah, uh, ay, ah, uh, medyo nagbabark siya pag nilalaro ni Ellie iba. Parang, ano, uh, tawag nito yung high pitch barking, katulad last night, yung marami nilalaro si Ellie. Na toy. Okay, okay. Yeah. Parang, uh, ah, that's si mine. Hindi ko mukuha mag-isa ng toy? <laughs> Oo. Ah, yeah. Okay. Pero actually, yun nga yung problem. Binila namin ng bagong toy kahapon si Basha. Tapos, kung ano yung nilalaro ni Basha, yun yung gusto ng laro ni Ellie. Like, there's yeah. so much toys there. Yun yung and, gusto niya. And, and, and you see, guys, if I'm, if I'm recording your faces when you were talking about the toys, both of you are smiling. <laughs> <laughs> If, if, if my dogs 
can can talk to you and and then tell you oh buti pa si Basha may toys kasi <laughs> wala kang makikita because the reason for that is every play opportunity ng mga aso ko I want to be part of it because I am part of learning mm. get the point so wala kayong makikita sa bahay ko na laruan wow <laughs> ang galing lang yan kapag maglalaro na kami mm. ah. we, we play every day mm. but it hindi yan pwede makalagsalap na kaya ang nangyari kay Basha okay kumuha ka ng isa ngayon ayaw ko na pili ka ulit ng isa ayaw ko na pili ka na Okay? Mm. Mm. So you are losing, <laughs> you, you, and, and I hope it makes sense to you because this is, this is kadalasa nangyayari sa session. <laughs> That's so, true. Dog owners are smiling the moment they realize, oh nga, no, it makes sense. Because you are losing value. Mm-hmm. You are losing your value. Diba? For me, I don't know if you've seen Inka, you've seen my dogs. For them, I'm the pinaka-pogi. Because they value my eyes and they value lahat ng attention ko kasi hindi siya madalas pinitigay. Mm. Diba? So parang the moment na Looking humawak forward. ko ng bola, ako na magsasabi sa inyo, the moment humawak ako ng tennis ball, akala ng mga aso ko, Diyos ako. <laughs> kasi ang alam nila, uy, ngayon lang ulit natin nakita yan. Anong gagawin namin? So I'm gaining the advantage without even punishing the dog. I'm gaining the advantage of having their motivation and ask them to do something before I give it to them. Unlike with Basha, na, okay, ayaw ko na nito. Ayaw ko na nito. Okay? So the value, the value, Ang kailangan dami. we put value to yourself ng sobra-sobra other than things or, or other than bone, food, or even toys, kailangan kayo. So, paano nyo nilalagay na ini-increase mo yung value mo sa aso mo? Lahat ng magandang nangyayari sa buhay nila, makukuha nila sa mata mo. Bago sila lumabas ng pinto, kailangan nilang tumingin. Bago sila kumain, <laughs> kailangan nilang tumingin. Bago sila bumating, kailangan silang tumingin. So, the dog would learn, okay, at sarap pala pag tinitignan ko si mami and si daddy kasi lahat nakukuha ko. And makikita nyo yung, yung mm. sense of communication doon. Okay, ganito nangyayari yan. If I be seeing you in person and you are not looking straight to my eye, when I'm talking to you, I know you're not listening. Mm. How can your dog listen to you if your dog can ah, even pay attention to you? Makes sense? Makes sense? Mm-hmm. So para mag-pay attention na siya na mag-pay attention, okay, kakain ako. O daddy, <laughs> so, ang naging importante get, look at it this point importante yung food mm-hmm. pero sino yung source mm-hmm. diba? hindi ka gaya ng ibang aso makikita nyo pagbibigay ka ng hawak mo na yung pagdayan dog bowl nasa dog bowl nakatingin hindi ka matanong <laughs> ako mm-hmm. diba? mm-hmm. so you need to develop that habit the moment you develop that habit mangyayari to the point na makakita ka ng ibang aso titingin mo na Daddy, can I play? <laughs> May pakalam na. Rather than, okay, hilahin ka na lang papunta sa aso. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ko ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi ibig sabihin, masasolve nyo agad yung problema nun. Ibig sabihin, you will have advantage because the dog will pay attention to you first and you can say no, mm. or you can say, okay, go. Mm-hmm. So, we are actually implementing all the stuff that we learned yesterday from the dog whisperer. Well, we'll try and do as much as we can to cover um, the basics. So we've already done the um, the food, giving them small portions, and you know, like waiting until they settle down. And I'm not very used to it, but it kind of worked so far. Basha sort of relaxed, and uh, you know, we were able to feed her uh, without her asking too much for table food well actually she didn't even go near me so i was a bit worried about that but anyway it went well and uh yeah another thing we're gonna do is you see all this ton and tons of toys they've got now we're just gonna have like play times and you know a separate a special bonding moment for the family now so um, you know, we're not gonna have the toys easily and readily available to them so they kind of 
value it more and when we do play with them they will hopefully enjoy it all like now they're just sitting here they're ornaments they're part of the furniture at the moment so that is the go and that sound is to sort of like startle Ellie like if once he starts to annoy and bite Basha that's one of the um, recent problem we have lately with this puppy yeah he likes to bite on things and chew and everything he sees including Basha's we're not really saying goodbye to the toys guys like we're just temporarily putting them away maybe leave one what do you think no okay boss says no Basha what about you what toy is your favorite We'll put it on top so maybe if you do the playtime we can just grab it easily and it bash. Anyway. Okay. Alright, goodbye. To get rid of the toys. Well put them in a safer place. Bye guys. Bye toys. I'm gonna miss you. It was a good relationship I had with you guys. Oh look at Bash's face. The worried look on her face. I know Bash. <laughs> gonna go in the storage oh, we buy toys we've had a very good relationship oh Basha it's all right like maybe once in a while like there's a certain time at night when you know we're all spending no no Basha no I know it's just temporarily getting packed there the toys are not getting given away or anything like that uh -oh. We're in a pickle. Okay, let's go get the other toys, guys. Come on. Let's pick up the other toys. <laughs> it's funny how it's been sitting there for like ages and she's not um, appreciating them and now that it's gone. Look at her. She's got minor, mild anxiety. Uh, okay, there's a few more toys out here. I think the outside one is fine because when they're outside, they can play with